Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the last Streamlit 145 update. So if you're interested to discover the new features, just keep on watching. All right, so I've gathered here four or five features that uh, we're going to go through in this video. Uh, the first one being the general availability of the ST user element. So this component allows us to extract information uh, on the user that utilizes your app. Uh, so here I made a simple example of a use case by first using the ST login component that allows the authentication uh, of the user through a third party provider. Uh, in this case, I've used uh, a Google account uh, and from which we're gonna extract some info uh, with ST user. So here ST user has an attribute uh, called is logged in uh, that returns true if the user is logged in and of course false if uh, they're not. So here I'm verifying if the attribute returns false uh, and if it does, I'm displaying a button to request a login and that's what you see here. Now when I'm pressing uh, this button, it will launch the SD login uh, process uh, for the user to log in. Now, I'm not going to go here uh, into details on how to set up this whole process, uh, but if you're interested, uh, I explain uh, all of this process into uh, another video that I'm just uh, linking uh, right here. Then once I'm going to be logged in, uh, I'll use uh, various attributes from the ST user element to display uh, a, little, a little welcome message uh, like so here. So let's try it out. So the Google window uh, appears to, and I can choose uh, an account to log in. And then when I come back, I have the message with the uh, various uh, inputs from the attributes of the SD user uh, element. Next item on the list is a pretty simple yet uh, quite useful new feature. Uh, it revolves around the addition of a new parameter in the ST uh, multi-select element uh, that allows the user to add a custom option if it is not present uh, in the default list. So uh, previously, uh, if uh, for in, in this example, I had three options that I set up uh, as default in the multi-select element. So I had red, green, blue. Uh, but if I wanted to have uh, another option, say uh, orange, well, I couldn't uh, do this. Uh, but in Streamlit 145, with the addition of this new parameter, uh, accept new options set to true, uh, I have, again, the same options here, red, green, blue, but if I wanted to have orange, uh, I can do so and add the option. Third item here is related to alert messages. Uh, so previously, we didn't have any control on uh, the actual width uh, of the uh, message that was displayed but they added a width parameter to uh, allow us to control exactly that. So for instance, here I have set up a width of 300 uh, that looks like this instead of this. Next, we have again a new parameter in the ST components HTML element uh, that allows us to control the order in which uh, the tab key goes through uh, each item that is displayed uh, on the page. So here I have uh, constructed a simple HTML structure uh, that displays three buttons. You can see here that I've set a tab index for each of these buttons uh, to three, one, and two. And when you use uh, this new parameter tab index, uh, when it's set up to zero, you can see that when I use the tab key, uh, it goes in the order in which uh, you have set up the tab index in your HTML structure. So here I have the uh, tab index one, and then when I uh, press on tab, it goes to tab index two, and then another time on tab, it goes to tab index three. So this is uh, what this new parameter does. Last item for today is uh, this simple add-on to the ST uh, text input and number input uh, that allows the user to add an icon to uh, the left of, of the input. So here, for instance, if I had a text input 
that was uh, asking to submit a question, I could add a question mark icon in front of the text input. Same thing with the uh, number input. Uh, for instance, if I had uh, a question about uh, submitting a price, I could add an icon to uh, the left of the input. So yeah, that sums up about what is, uh, is new in this Streamlit 145 update. Uh, if you like this video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye, guys.